A vibe like Ray Ray Five Ray Five I'm a vibe like Ray Ray Five Ray Five Ray Five I'm a What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy Ray here with another one. We still getting weather here. It, the lights in the in the studio is flickering and losing power, gaining power. Like it, it, it's 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 getting crazy. But it says it's gonna calm down a little bit later tonight. So I'm hoping I can't lose power again. XG, I know I did the winner without you. The other one, the uh, dance performance, I think it was. No, the the no the. Uh, not the dance performance. I did uh, Winter Without You, the other one. You know what I'm talking about. But I never done the official music video. So I wanted to check that one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that. It's time to go to work, ladies and gentlemen. Time to go to work. Federico, do me a favor. <laughs> Cut the beat. I appreciate you. Leave. XG, Winter Without You. I love this song. I love this song. The Bohiculars. Mm, mm. Girls, it is on you. Let's go. She told Kakoda, yo, bring this shit up here. <laughs> That's the drug deal from Aspen, the 1999 drug, uh, drug deal from Aspen. They all went to Aspen to go ski and sell some snow. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she said, Kakoda, bring the pack. That's what she said. Watch. Read her lips. <laughs> told you, get the pack. She said, what the fuck? Get the pack! <laughs> Kakona, take it to... Kakona not go with mountains and snow. She's not good with mountains and snow. She had an accident when she was a child in the mountain and the snow. So Kakona was about two and a half, three years old. And she saw an article in the newspaper. It said, first man goes and climbs Mount Everest. She was like... Oh, hell to the motherfucking no. So, three years old, she got a little backpack. She had a little juicy juice in there. A little katana, a retractable katana sword. They only did that, like, three of those. And there was only two that got sold. And Kokona stole the one that didn't get stole. She stole the, the prototype. So, she retracted it, put it inside her backpack. Had a juicy juice. She had a little teddy bear. His name is Sprinkles. Why you... Why... Because it's a it's a teddy bear, but it's got iron dye inside that motherfucker. So she shakes it, and then the dust particles gets on you and you die. <laughs> That's what it's called sprinkles, my nigga. Anyway, she said she got to the front of the, the Mount Everest. It was a, it was a, it was a very very long trip. She had to take thirteen planes, two buses, and four donkeys in order to get to where she needed to get to. She looked up. And then she just started walking. She didn't even look down. She didn't look down or nothing. She just kept on walking. And by the time you know it, she was in the top. People were freezing. All the people were frozen death to death in the middle of the night. She only had a loose Jansport jacket with the Jansport backpack. That's it. Chilling. No hat. No earmuffs or nothing. Three years old. True story. She had, but ever since that, she got to the top. She was, she felt like she she saw something in her in her heart to make her grow to a beast, right? And then she turned around, and what happened when she turned around? She went like this to go look below because she was gonna swap, she was gonna dive, and she was just gonna do it like that, and then in mid air turn, and then get like a, a a karate stance and slide through the snow. That was her plan, her mind. So when she turned around, there was somebody's penis that was frozen stuck. She tripped over the penis, ah, and she fell. She got one scar, and that's the only scar she's ever gotten in her whole entire fucking life. 
right here in her fucking knee. Small little scar about that big. She said, I promised myself I would never get another star. And then she wants to come be like, oh, come bring it to the top of the mountain. That's a bad meeting spot, bro. Go down about that light, man. She don't like that shit. Why are you going to tell the dude meet me at the top of, the, uh, of Mount Everest? For what reason? There was a Starbucks right down the street. See, the audio is always going to sound different when they do like a music video. It sounds so, so clean right now. But it sounded so clean when they did it the other time. And the other version that they did. It was even cleaner because they had a, they were in a studio. It sounded better. The quality was a lot better. In the other, But this sounds fucking amazing. They're high peaking. They're going to cause an avalanche. You better stop it. Maya the Don knows how to do that though. Maya the Don knows how to do that though. She knows how to ski board and, and do all that crazy stuff like that. It is what it is. She she auditioned for Frozen, man. They didn't give it to her. She was pissed. OG Katana was pissed, man. So what happened in New York, they had this poster in the train station. You take the J train to Delancey, and Delancey was right there. It was right next to the Independence Day poster. And she saw that there was auditions to play the character Frozen. I forgot the girl's name. I haven't watched that movie. OG Katana said, I could do this. I could do this. This is my part. Have you ever seen me with ice on my face? I look just like her. So she went in there. The guy in front of the audience, they were like, how you doing? What's your name? Where you from? And what, and what are you, what's your occupation? She's like, my name is OG Katana. I'm from, you already know Brooklyn, New York. You already know what it is. And uh, my occupation is fucking shit up. <laughs> she sold him. The director's like, I like your attitude. She was like, you had no choice, my nigga. <laughs> she said that. There was a black guy getting some coffee so he could sit down. <laughs> he heard that, he went, real shit. Pointed at her and she just winked. When she winked, it twinkled. And the director was like, you didn't, you brought props? You brought the little twinkles for, and she was like, nah, I not actually do that. Watch. And she did it again. Twink. Blinded the director. The director couldn't do nothing with it. <laughs> she made it that She did it. And they were like, all right, you need to read this part. The director had to leave. He needed to go see his, his eyes skepticals to see what the fuck's going on. She was like, oh, go away in an hour and a half. Tell him to stop being a bitch. And that's what she told him. <laughs> but they're like, all right, we want you to repeat after me. Do you want to build a snowman? OG Katana went. Do you want to build a snowman? And she kept that. She kept it with the deep voice. They were like, ah, can you try to do a little bit higher? So she said, do you want to build a snowman? And they were like, nope. What's going on with the deepness in your voice? She said, I'm a real nigga. And real niggas do real nigga shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then she, then she came out. And then she sang it the way it was supposed to be sung. Tears in everyone's eyes. There was a little mouse that stole a little piece of cheese. And he was inside the like the, the top of the railings looking at her before he went inside his, his community. And she he looked, he was like, she gonna be somebody. And then he turned away. And when he turned away, two little poops came out. <laughs> These stories are starting to get more fucking crazier and crazier, bro. So now this ain't win without you. No more joy, no laughter. Wish that I don't care about 
<laughs> Only a real nigga comes into the screen like that. <laughs> Look like LL Cool J's little sister. LL Cool Jesse. You can say that. <laughs> Uh, no, it's CC Cool. CC Cool Bags. She came in like CC Cool Bags. Hold on. For Christmas, I yeah. Don't care, but no yeah. Though. On the deal, I still miss you though. She look like the liber like like the librarian from hell. Like if she tells you to shush, you better shut the fuck up. She worked as as a as a librarian librarian. I can't say that word. She was in a librarian for like about uh, every summer in 2006. <laughs> in 2000 and 2006, every summer she was a librarian in the school's library. In, in, like in the back, back, back. She was the one chilling, you know, walking with the cards, putting the books where they need to go. You know, making sure you're not late for your shit. And if you were late, it was a vendetta she took against you guys. It's vendetta. You brought your books on time and if you didn't bring your books back on time, that whole card has your information. She knows where you live. She got your number. So she's going to try to do a professional. There was one time there was a little, a little kid named Eric. He was, a, he was a little badass little kid. So he liked to be fucking around and shit and going to school and taking books from the library and not bringing them back. And then when he brings them back, they're all destroyed and he wrote it on them. And, and Jordan, so she was like, I've been trying to, she told her one of her, her librarian fellow friends, yo, I've been trying to look for this nigga for a minute. And he hasn't shown up. Every time he shows up, I'm off. And I'm about done with this shit. So she came on her day off. And she just stood in the chair. Like the regular chair. Reading a book. And she was just like scoping the nigga. So he came back. He looked around. Saw that she wasn't working today. He came back. Y'all came to return his book. Ah, 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 ah. And he just placed the book on top of the table. And the guy that was behind there working that day, he looked at it, he was like, he was very timid. He was a very scared little motherfucker. So he was like, oh, excuse me, sir. Um, we're, we asked for you not to write on the books because everybody else needs to share these books for the kids and everything. And the Eric said, fuck you. You ain't my daddy. And that's when the lights came on. Zoom. There was no light in the library. Everybody started running. Eric was the only dumb motherfucker inside the middle of the library thinking he's Mr. Tough Shit. And he came out, and all you were hearing is C.C. Dimeback saying, Don't come back. And he turned around, got scared. He didn't know what the fuck to do. Turned around this way. The voice started coming here. Don't come back. And turned this way. Don't come back. So he froze. And he said, what the hell's going on here? And all you heard her say was, shh. When he heard that, that last little bit of light that showed the reflection of his face went out. And all you heard was, <laughs> he became part of the books. She took that man's skin and put it at book covers. She didn't give a shit about nothing. And he, she had his head on top of the desk and it says there, this is what happens when you don't return your book the way you rented it out the first place. Pussy. That was CC Dimebags. I, I don't know. That, that was a bad time of her life. She was taking ass and shit like that shit. I don't care about no mess or toe. On the deal, I still miss you though. Looking cute at every Christmas party. Posting on my stories. Still a little snowy. Yeah. Joyful, joyful, joyful. Where in the hell? You look like a French villain with that. <laughs> she killed a whole bunny rabbit and took his shit and wore it, man. <laughs> That's fire, bro. She looked like a whole bunny rabbit. Joyful, joyful, joyful. Praise your voice. Everybody come and praise your voice. So now. Mighty the dog right there. Stop playing with her. Let me tell the truth. If I remember, we would sit by the fire holding hands. Sweet smell of sugar and spots was ever simple like the season you was gone with Oh, she was American Indian at one point. She had the feather. That feather means a lot. That came from her from her her, her clan leader. And his name his name was Mr. No No Good. <laughs> J 
Dre Bunny don't play around, bro. She she met she met Mr. No No Good. And he showed a lot of different things. He told her how to roll up a blunt. She told her how to smoke from a pipe. He told her how to how to how to kill and hunt for her food and everything like that. So it's right now, what you're seeing is her leaving the clan to join the real world. They had a whole ceremony and everything. There was a guy that she they liked her. And she came and she said, no, you're not ready for this world that I'm about to go to. And she went like this and put his finger on his lip and chill. I know you love me. But Mr. Don't You Know No Good said, this is my destiny. And then he was like, what, you're going to be in Destiny's Child? She's like, no, shut up. And she put her finger back on his lip. Shut up. When I come down this mountain, you're never going to see me again. Unless you have internet access and you can watch me on YouTube. I'm going to do something with this. You didn't believe in me. Mr. No No Good did. And then she took a finger and she just rubbed it down like the bum bump. <laughs> she just came down and just rubbed the lip. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And then she just slid down. She just went, ta -ta. did a 360 flip, turned around, tornado hit Alaska, and then she landed on her feet. She a gangster like that. Facts. Yes, sweet smell of sugar and spice was ever simple. Like the season you was gone with the wind, fall, went and spring. Back around with my December blues, I've been feeling again. So listen, I really want to know what we went wrong. I want to know if you were here this song. And if I could turn back the time, you'll be No, my girl got the edges done right, dog. <laughs> she got the edges done right. Stop playing with her. She got that shit stuck on her forehead. Stop playing. Stop playing. You don't even know what she's wearing right now, man. She's wearing that mummy return shit. She used to be in Egypt at one point. They, they said, all right, so what happened was Kokona, <laughs> Kokona was going to the pharaohs and, and shit. She was trying to get everybody together. She was going to throw a party, right? And it was just a regular party. Nothing special. It's just, yo, let's, let's glad to be alive. Let's throw a bash. They call it the mummification bash. Everybody had to rap like mummies, and they had to come in there and do the mummy dance and do all this type of crazy shit. She wanted the, the whole theme to be mummy related. The Rock was there. It was crazy. Brendan Fraser's fat ass was sitting down, chilling, looking at everybody dance because he can't dance no more. Let's keep it real. That man got huge. So she was having a whole on top of uh. Da, 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 da. Do do da na 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 oh, oh, oh it was in the eighties and nineties the best of the eighties and nineties that's what they were playing time frame doesn't match but it doesn't matter and everybody was getting pumped there was a girl named Tiffany she was jealous of her she was like you know what why does she always get the best pharaohs of the world and gets all the gold and doesn't have sand in her fucking shoes. <laughs> Why she can do all that and I gotta go here and suffer? She's like, I'm gonna wait until the middle of the party when everybody is busy and, and I'm gonna do something. Huh? So she she waited. Gordon was like, all right, guys, everybody, enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna go real quick. I gotta go to the room. I gotta go get something. She was gonna get her, her, you know, her latest hits, 1979, where there's got a whole bunch of rappers in there that nobody ever knew about. She's the only one that has the CD. So Tiffany got all fucking jealous. She was like, I'm gonna grab that CD. And I'm going to make her disappear. So she's looking for her CD, looking for CD. Tiffany comes around her, wrapped mad toilet paper around her whole head, her body, everything, turned into a mummy. And then throws her inside of a coffin that she has in the room. Some people say she sleeps in there. Some people say that she just goes in there just to watch, look at her phone and scroll through TikTok. I don't fucking know. All I know is there was a coffin in that bitch. She rolled in the coffin, closed that motherfucker. Tiffany comes down. Oh, my God. She left. She said, fuck all y'all. Y'all mad dumb. And she don't like cats. <laughs> She's like, but to bring the party back popping, I'm going to play the CD that I made. Puts the CD in. And the first thing you hear is, yo, 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 this is the going on. Mom and rapping since 1902. 
Told you niggas that I don't play around with this bullshit. And it was Gorgona's voice right off rip. That gave her power. She heard that shit in the casket. The, the, the top started shaking. And then it just exploded. She came up and floated out that motherfucker. And went straight to the middle of the party. And then the, the rapping started unraveling itself. Gorgona came out. Like like what with gold and, 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 and like soldier army pads and all types of crazy shit with an AK forty seven. Took everybody the fuck out. So you're like, nobody, not one of y'all motherfuckers came and looking for me. Over here listening to my C D that I made. So everybody got the fuck out of there. It, it, it's, it's just shit that you know, you gotta put pro prove a point sometimes. When you do some shit like that, you're proving a point. Don't fuck with me. December blues, I've been feeling again So listen, I really wanna know what we went wrong I wanna know if you were here this song And if I could turn back the time You'll be in my arms again But there's some things that I can't change So now, this ain't when I'm without you no And that's exactly how they went to the top of Everest They just sat in the corner and just chilling Sun in their face, everything good, good weather Good weather. Me and my wife were watching the, 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 the Everest and K2 documentaries. Oh, my God. Whoever goes and does that, I give you guys all the, the props in the world, man. Y'all got balls. Nope. Hey, Ray, we're going to give you a million. Nope. Hey, Ray, your debt is going to be clipped. Nope. I've, I've been struggling for 30 fucking years. Ain't gonna bother me to struggle a little bit more, mama. I'm good. No, thank you. I like to camp out though, in, like, in the very bottom, just so I can have the view. And I'm like, oh, look at that. Nope. That is dope. I like that. See, see why CC Don Banks and Kakorda are always together? They're, they're like the, the two worst ones of all seven of them. They're the assholes. Like, Kakorda be killing people. CC Don Banks do a man, daily man drugs and shit like that. And Maya, I put uh, Joe, Joe, uh, J Money also in there. And Maya, they all gangsta. I don't be a hundred. They all got issues, man. They all got, they got their own stories. They got their own stories and it's believable. Let's talk about let's talk about the picture you guys posted up on TikTok or on Twitter. <laughs> they had four out of seven girls, and it was a picture that showed them they were locked up. I saw that was and then you guys tagged me on it. <laughs> I was gonna write a whole entire story, but as a reply, but I was like, I ain't gonna do that, man. I was like, because I don't know the situation. I, I don't know if that was a real situation or not, and I didn't want to like I didn't want to really get too much into it. I made a comment about it, but I didn't want to get too deep because I didn't know how serious that was or what was going on. But <laughs> I told you, y'all y'all yeah, keep on believing me. Y'all yeah, keep on believing me, and look what happens. See, we can make imaginations come true. They're real G's, bro. There was no reason that they would that they should have been stopped at the Philippines. There was no reason, and they got stopped. Because they heard the story. They were like, uh, come in. <laughs> Yo, that'll be messed up if that's the reason. Somebody over there saw one of my videos and said, mm. when they come in, we're going to have to stop them. And we're going to have to check their bags and everything. Check their criminal records and all that. <laughs> I got the criminal records if y'all need it. Huh? My man sent me a third one. I got to go. I'm waiting for all of them to get to me. And then I'm going to make a, a nice poster thing here. And I'm not. This is going to be the XG area right here. And I'm going to put all, all the uh, files right up here. It's going to be fire, man. I already have a vision. So how, how am I supposed to go without you? Days go go so won't you? Say that you'll be home for Christmas. Have a snow party.
fuck is true that you will come to rescue I'm every mess you now tell me how How am I supposed to go with that Yo this video is dope I'm telling you, it's that R&B feel that these girls give you. It's the, the old school feel is what I'm addicted to. Is Every song that I've done of, of XG has given me that same exact feeling. That old school R&B, rap, hip-hop culture. And for them to bring it back in this time frame right now, in the world they were living in right now, to bring that type of sound back and make it amazing... Shout out to the girls, man. Shout out. Look at going up with the long black hair. Look like she's about to go sell some vacuum cleaners at people's door to door. <laughs> Singing is crazy. Wow. That's the golden tree that they bought off of that big deal that they did in Aspen. They said, we're going to sell this Coke and we're going to buy a golden tree. <laughs> they succeeded. We got it, girls. Amazing. Always a great video. God, man, that looks so beautiful. Always a great video from these girls, man. Every single, every single time. Facts. I hope you guys enjoy the stories today. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, right now, Florida, uh, they, I was, I've been watching the Weather Channel. It's been saying that it's going to come back around and hit us. Yesterday, we had no power for the majority of the night. We got power back like in the like early, early, early morning, like 5 a.m. We got power back. And, um, but they said that, it sh that it's coming right back around and it's going to hit us one more time. So it says it should be coming around four. So in any minute now, uh, but then it ends at five and then it's just going to be, it's going to start clearing out after that. That's according to what they say. I don't know. I hope so. But if you're out in Florida and you're dealing with this hurricane, I hope, I hope everything is safe. I hope that you have no damage under your house. I pray that you guys are safe and your kids are safe. If you do not need to be on the road, ladies and gentlemen, please do not go on the road. If it's not absolutely necessary, please don't do it because the roads, there's a lot of debris and a lot of crap in the streets right now. And, and, and we're flooding, I think it was like seven inches, they said, of water. And, and it's just, it's not safe to be out there. And it sucks that they're sending the cut. The, I'd rather not have electric and not have these people send these electric companies out there in this type of conditions to try to fix whatever they needed to fix. At least wait until it calms down to a point where it's not a danger no more. And, and, and it is what it is. Like, we're going to have to learn how to survive without power. Like, uh, you should learn. I got, an, I got a, a battery-operated fan. I got a mobile hotspot. And we got a grill. <laughs> I'm good to go. We eating and we're doing the same shit that we do. Only a little bit hotter. Just a little bit hotter. That's all we're going to do. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I got more coming. Peace.